and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, welcome here. My name is Eleanor Josefina and I make YouTube videos about modeling and starting YouTube and just kind of like beauty and lifestyle stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but right now I am doing Vlogmas. So basically what Vlogmas is, is you post the first 24 days of Christmas. So I will be posting hopefully almost every day in December up until Christmas Eve. So yeah, you guys, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell button so you're notified every single time a video is uploaded this month. But getting on to the video, you guys, um, I will be talking about in this video how to become a model if you live outside of the United States. So how to become a model in the United States. And if you guys are a teenager or a man, I have already made two videos about how to become a model as a teenager and how to become a model as a man. So I will leave those both of those videos down in the description box below for you guys to check out. Okay, you guys, so on to the video. Um, so to be a model, from outside of the United States. So to be a person outside of the United States, it's actually kind of beneficial. Right now, the United States is going through something that they really want to see ethnicity, they really want to see different looks, very, very unique people, which they find a lot of the times abroad, which is why a lot of our models are from Brazil, um, because they're super, super unique looking. The downsides to it is it can be quite complicated, it can be quite hard, and it can be quite expensive to get a visa and to live in the United States if you are from outside of the country. One more thing just right off the bat before I go into you know all the details and I'll talk about like how much models make and kind of the steps to get into an agency in the United States but before I say that double check if your country that you live in has a modeling agency because if you do sign with an agency within your home country they might help you find an agency within the United States and they might you know coordinate flights free flights for you to come to the United States so I would say first check out any agencies that are in your home country because I promise you this will save you a lot of money so the first thing you are going to need is to save up a little bit of money and this is just my suggestion just because if you're not a teenager or if you don't have your parents nearby they can't really be helping you out financially you will have to find your own housing and your own food even if you do sign with an agency they will not be paying for your housing and your food they might pay for your flight and um, you know maybe a limo service sometimes but they won't be paying for where you live and I would say for the first year of modeling just because it's a tryout period it's a tryout period for the agency it's a tryout period for you nothing's really guaranteed Guaranteed. So I would say first try and save up as much money as you can before moving to the United States And I came up with a number this I didn't find this anywhere But this was just my suggestion to save up at least almost probably like three thousand dollars I know that sounds like a lot I know that sounds like a lot because it is a lot of money But I said save up around three to five thousand dollars just because you never know how much a plane tickets going to be And you don't know if there's ever gonna be a, an emergency in your home country And you don't know if you're gonna be short on cash once you move here to the United States you don't know how many bookings you're gonna get once you are signed with an agency so I would say save up as much money as you can I made a video a couple of weeks ago about side jobs for models to um, have and I really wanted to create a list that were made of jobs that are super super flexible so I will leave that video um, linked down below in the description box but make sure you guys go check that out because a lot of them are freelance jobs that people who live outside of the United States can work as well so the second step is to figure out what type of model you want to be. And this can be anything from a high fashion or a runway model, or this could be um, a lifestyle model, which is the type of modeling that I do. You can be a parts model and you can be a fitness model. The third thing is after you figure out what type of modeling you want to get into, make sure you meet those requirements. So even if you wanna be a high fashion and a runway model, but you're too short, I would say maybe then go into lifestyle modeling. So if you wanna be a runway or fashion model, you have to be at least 5'8", if not 5'9", and usually pretty thin. Now those aren't strict requirements, but usually most models fit within those height measurements. So don't do anything drastic or crazy to change your look or to change your weight, but um, just make sure that you fall within the um, usual height and weight requirements. So the next step and the fourth step is to get signed by an actual agency. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your headshots, get some headshots done. And honestly, iPhones and phones these days are so crazy advanced that you can literally have a friend or a family member just take it off their iPhone or any friend that has a nice camera. Just take it, take a headshot of you with minimal makeup with just natural hair against like a blank or a cream sort of wall. This allows the agency to know what you really, really look like. Um, your skin type, your hair type, your hair texture. So make sure it's just minimal makeup, minimal hair. 
you will then want to apply to an agency in the United States. But depending on what city you plan on living in, if you have a preference, um, I would say search for agencies in that city. One thing I will say is to live in LA and to live in New York is very, very expensive. But to live in like Miami or Houston, Texas or Austin, Texas or in Minneapolis or Chicago, they're a little bit cheaper. They're still expensive, but they're a little bit cheaper to live in. So I would look first in those cities. So honestly, what you're literally gonna wanna do is you're literally gonna type modeling agencies in Chicago and a bunch of lists will pop up. After that, you're going to want to go onto their website and search how to apply to that particular agency. Some agencies want you to mail in their photos and some agencies just want you to upload your information right on their website. Make sure to be as professional as possible because these people see you know, four or five, six hundred, or maybe even thousand model applicants a month. So they see a lot of applications per month. So make sure you're being as professional as possible. So the next and fifth thing you guys is actually to be signed by the agency and create that relationship with them. Personally, I would not come to the United States unless there was an agency actually very interested in me because it's just very, very expensive and you're just kind of going on a whim. So I would not move anywhere or do anything drastic before um, getting signed by an agency. The only reason I think I would is if like your family or then if you're you know doing a vacation in Chicago or New York anyway then sure then go ahead and stop into those agencies that you have applied for but otherwise I would say if you don't have a vacation plan to the United States anyway I would say just apply to agencies and continue to apply to them uh, until you have heard something back. And just a warning you guys, um, if something does sound too good to be true, um, just be wary. Just do a lot of research, read reviews, actually go to the website, make sure it's a legit website just to be safe. So if you guys actually do get signed by an agency, congratulations. Um, they might, to actually like see you in person, they might actually pay for a plane ticket and a hotel room for you to stay in while they're deciding if they want to sign you or not. So the next thing you guys is actually after you get signed by an agency actually, and this is the sixth point I have. And that is to design your comp card and your portfolio. And these are basically a collection of all of your professional photo shoots that you have done. This is my comp card. It basically has a headshot on one side and just your measurements and some work that you have done on the other side. And a portfolio is basically like a nice black binder and has literally all the photos you have ever professionally had done. These can be pretty pricey if you do them through an agency, but you can also do them on your own. I did my comp card on a company's website called Vistaprint, and I will leave it in the description box below. And you can get about 100 comp cards for about $20. It's really, really good, and it's really, really cheap. And basically, these are your basically business cards. So whenever you go to a photo shoot, whenever you meet a new photographer or a designer, you will hand these out. You will ask them like, hey, would you like a comp card? And they will usually say yes, and you will just give them one. If your agency requires you to buy um, your comp cards through them, it can be pretty pricey, around like $200 sometimes but a trick that I have found out is that I will ask him to take that money out of a paycheck of mine so let's say I do a photo shoot and it pays me a thousand dollars I will ask him to take that those two hundred dollars out of my future paycheck so in that way it's a win-win situation you don't have to pay money up front and the agency also gets their money so it's a win-win situation for both of you guys the seventh step is not to change your looks, you guys. So a lot of models um, do this a lot and it gets them in really big trouble. And that is when they change their looks. So they'll cut their hair drastically or they'll dye their hair a crazy color or they'll get bangs or something like that or they'll get a piercing or a tattoo. And none of those things are bad or wrong, but your agency wants you to look like what you look like in your headshots because they're sending your photo to different companies and you need to show up at a photo shoot or a runway the way you look like on your photo. So make sure if you do anything, get a tattoo, um, cut your hair, dye your hair, just make sure you check with your agency first. So the eighth step, you guys, is once you have been doing work for a quite a while, you will want to try and grow yourself. And this can be growing yourself on Instagram, promoting your work on there. This could be creating a website for yourself. This could be um, trying to get signed with a different agency in a different city. So just make sure that you're always trying to branch out, always trying to network, always trying to grow your modeling um, portfolio. So that's it, you guys. Those are the steps for how to become a model in the USA. Um, other things I'm not quite sure about are visas. So I know that agencies do help with getting the model um, a visa if they need it, but I'm not quite sure how long that takes. I'm not quite sure the process, but it is something you will need before coming to the United States. If you do get signed by an agency um, and have a question about it, just go ahead, email them, send them a, that question, and they should be able to um, answer it for you. 
So the salary of models can really, really depend, and it can depend on if you're a teenager, or a man, or a woman. Um, so it really just depends. But the minimum amount models usually make is around $10 an hour, and the max they um, tend to usually make is about $300 an hour. And for me, that holds very, very true. And typical models make anywhere from $20,000 a year to $80,000 a year. You can obviously make up to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, but usually um, models do make around the $20,000 to $80,000 um, price range. So the last thing you guys is just a quick checklist of things you will need and that is a cop card a portfolio the third thing is a good attitude because companies and agencies love to work with people who are kind and very very nice the fourth thing is come with a good conscience because just you never know what a photo shoot is going to be like so just come with a good conscience be safe be smart um, do a lot of your research before you go to a photo shoot and if anything sounds too good to be true it probably is so just be careful and the fifth thing is a job to fall back on and again Again, I will leave a video link down below the different jobs that models can get. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and that little bell button just so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. But yeah, you guys, I think that is it. I love you guys all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.